Tesla Cybertruck was spotted smoothly cruising through the 280 in Palo Alto, effortlessly gliding on the road like a vehicle from the future. The Cybertruck's cushy suspension and fascinating headlights added to its impressive vibe. Besides Tesla's Gigapress maker, Hydra has just released a mind-blowing video showcasing the die-casting process for the Cybertruck. This massive machine with its simple yet sophisticated operations promises to revolutionize car manufacturing and leave every automotive CEO shaking in their boots. But that's not all. Toyota, a formidable competitor, is gearing up to challenge Tesla with its next-gen BEV architecture, featuring the rise of single-piece castings. Will Toyota's adoption of single-piece castings end Tesla's dominance in the electric vehicle market? And what are new Cybertruck updates? Stay tuned to unravel the answers. The Tesla Cybertruck recently made an appearance, smoothly cruising through the 280 in Palo Alto, showcasing its remarkable features. A Cybertruck fan known as Gregor Truck had the fortunate opportunity to spot the all-electric pickup in action and captured a quick snippet. In respect of the Cybertruck's performance, the fan praised its suspension, describing it as cush. In the captured video, the Cybertruck seemed to float or glide on the road, suggesting that it would provide a comfortable and smooth ride for its owners. The footage also revealed the Cybertruck's front headlights in action, further adding to its unique vibe. These recent sightings of the Tesla Cybertruck with its camouflage wrap have sparked excitement among enthusiasts as they hint at the commencement of pre-production and the upcoming first delivery event. Elon Musk and Tesla are planning to hold the highly anticipated first delivery event for the Cybertruck by the end of this year. Since the beginning of the year, Tesla has been diligently preparing for Cybertruck production at Gigafactory Texas. The necessary equipment for the Cybertruck assembly line has already been installed at Giga Texas. Notably, Tesla made a strategic decision in late June to shift staff from the Model Y production line to the Cybertruck assembly line. This employee shift will occur alongside a temporary pause in Model Y production in Texas for necessary upgrades. Exciting reports based on information from Tesla suppliers have hinted at Tesla's ambitious plans to manufacture an impressive 375,000 Cybertruck units annually. These numbers demonstrate Tesla's commitment to meet the high demand for the Cybertruck and further solidify its position in the electric pickup truck market. While numerous Cybertrucks have been spotted online, there have been lingering uncertainties regarding certain aspects of the vehicle. One of these aspects is the presence of a rear light bar, which seemed to be absent in the newer prototypes unveiled by the company. Although it might seem trivial to focus on a truck's rear light bar, many electric car enthusiasts have a keen interest in it for a good reason. The original Cybertruck prototype had a thin red light at the back, which contributed to its futuristic and Blade Runner-esque aesthetic. Consequently, when updated prototypes surfaced with two small square lights at the rear, some fans were understandably disappointed. However, recent evidence supports CEO Elon Musk's previous statement regarding the inclusion of a rear light bar in the Cybertruck's production version. A short video shared online captured a Cybertruck turning a corner, revealing a light bar positioned at the center of the tailgate. While different from the light bar in the original prototype, this one only covered the middle of the Cybertruck's rear. With an estimated 1.7 million pre-orders at the start of the year, the Tesla Cybertruck is undeniably the most highly anticipated all-electric vehicle of the year. Fulfilling these initial orders alone will keep Tesla occupied for the next few years. If the Cybertruck lives up to its hype, its demand is expected to remain strong in the years to come. The timing of revealing new features so close to the proposed production date suggests that Tesla might have more surprises in store for its enthusiastic fanbase. As anticipation continues to grow, all eyes will be on how these new modifications perform in real-world testing and ultimately in the market. As Tesla prepares to bring the Cybertruck to production, the company's ability to meet the high demand and deliver a product that lives up to expectations will undoubtedly be closely watched. Up next, Tesla Gigapress maker Idora posts Cybertruck die-casting video. Tesla, with their highly anticipated Cybertruck on the horizon, is revolutionizing the production process with the help of an incredible machine that has caught the attention of enthusiasts and industry experts alike. The Tesla Gigapress, a die-casting giant that will play a crucial role in bringing the Cybertruck to life. This colossal machine, with its simple yet sophisticated operations, is set to transform the way cars are made. Capable of die-casting the Cybertruck's components, Tesla is making a bold statement about their commitment to innovation. The sheer scale of the Gigapress is evident in images that showcase its immense size. Upon closer inspection, one can notice the workbench next to the ladder, which stands at an impressive 3.5 feet tall, giving a sense of the machine's grandeur. 
The significance of this machine is not lost on automotive enthusiasts. In fact, some have taken to Twitter to express their belief that Tesla should consider acquiring the manufacturer of the Gigapress, Idura. However, it seems there may have been attempts in the past. According to Twitter user Mike Ball, Tesla had made an offer to purchase Idra, but it was rejected. The idea of Tesla acquiring Idra and producing their own die-casting machines, known as Gigapresses, has sparked a lively discussion among fans and experts. The impact of the Gigapress on the Cybertruck's production cannot be overstated. One of the key advantages of the die-casting process is its efficiency. As the Cybertruck does not require painting, the production line's throughput is expected to be off the charts once it is fully optimized and the battery supply is dialed in. This remarkable efficiency, combined with the Gigapress's ability to create parts with high accuracy and repeatability, makes it an ideal fit for Tesla's production needs. The die-casting process used by Tesla involves high-pressure molten metal being injected into molds to create complex parts. The molten metal is contained within the die, ensuring safety during the process. While there are some safety risks associated with working with hot metal and exposure to fumes, Tesla's commitment to maintaining a safe working environment remains a top priority. Speculation has arisen regarding the recent closure of Tesla's Giga Texas factory for a day. Some have wondered if it was related to the installation of the Gigapress machine, further emphasizing the significance of this groundbreaking technology. It is no wonder that the video teasing the new 9,000-ton Gigapress being assembled at Idiora's factory in Italy has garnered attention and curiosity. Although the video did not reveal many details, the anticipation surrounding this massive machine is palpable. The Gigapress is poised to give Tesla a significant edge in production efficiency, leaving competitors scrambling to catch up. With the Cybertruck on the horizon and its unconventional design already capturing the imagination of enthusiasts worldwide, up next, Tesla analyst expects Cybertruck to drive explosive growth. Tesla's highly anticipated Cybertruck launch later this year is expected to be a game-changer for the electric vehicle giant. Gary Black, the co-founder and managing partner of Future Fund, recently took to Twitter to emphasize the significance of the Cybertruck for Tesla's overall growth. Drawing comparisons to the successful Model Y launch, Black believes that the Cybertruck will expand Tesla's total addressable market and attract potential customers who may end up purchasing other Tesla models. Tesla shorts really don't get how important Cybertruck will be to growing the entire Tesla franchise in 2024, Black stated in a tweet highlighting the substantial impact he envisions for the company. With pickups accounting for 20% of the auto market, Black predicts a remarkable surge in Tesla's TAM. He believes that potential customers who see the Cybertruck in person or on social media will be enticed to visit Tesla's website or stores and consider buying another Tesla model, even if they don't purchase the Cybertruck itself. The Cybertruck launch holds immense significance for Tesla, as it marks the company's first major new product since the Model Y and is anticipated to be a defining moment similar to the impact of the iPhone. While Tesla previously launched the Tesla Semi-Truck, which targets commercial customers, the Cybertruck is expected to have a more substantial impact on Tesla's consumer market. Despite record deliveries reported by Tesla for the second quarter, critics argue that the volume gain came at the expense of margins. However, Black's theory contrasts this viewpoint, as he anticipates a remarkable 53% surge in volume for Tesla in 2024. This surge is expected to be driven by the Cybertruck's introduction and its ability to attract new customers and expand Tesla's market share. The Cybertruck's initial production and launch headlines are likely to be a win for Tesla and its investors, bolstering bullish sentiment. Any modest production delays or negative reviews are expected to be looked past by investors. The size of the reservation book and high purchase intent for the Cybertruck provide confidence that Tesla won't have to win over new consumers in the near term, ensuring the short-the-launch thesis of bears will likely struggle to gain traction. While Tesla's supercharger network has created a competitive advantage, the move to open up the charging network to other OEMs is viewed as a negative by some analysts. However, the overall performance of Tesla's stock is expected to be driven by unit sales and gross margins. Even if Needham's 2026 services and other revenue estimates for Tesla double, the firm's 2026 earnings per share estimate will move up by merely 1%, given the low gross margin nature of the business, Pierce said. Tesla's stock performance is likely to be dictated by unit sales and gross margins, and we view Tesla opening up its charging network as a negative for unit volumes, he added. Up next, this is how you can create your own logo Cybertruck wrap for free.
Live Surface, a design visualization Mac app, has launched an exciting offer that will undoubtedly capture the interest of Tesla Cybertruck wrap fans and fleet owners. They are providing a free mock-up of BYO designs applied to the Cybertruck, allowing users to visualize their designs on the vehicle's unique surface. The latest version of Live Surface's app introduces advanced features, enabling users to effortlessly mock up designs on any surface through simple drag and drop functionality. Given that the Cybertruck features a stainless steel exterior, traditional painting is not an option. However, Tesla and other experts have indicated that wraps will be a popular method to customize and differentiate the Cybertruck. Whether you are planning to order a Cybertruck or not, the Live Surface tool provides a fantastic platform to visualize your logo or design on what is anticipated to be the most talked about vehicle design of the decade. To get started on your Cybertruck fantasy designs, simply head over to Live Surface's website and download the app, available exclusively for Mac OS 12 and above. Embrace this opportunity to explore your creativity and envisage the possibilities for personalizing the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Up next, Tesla's impressive June performance in China boosts confidence in electric vehicle industry. Tesla reported impressive sales figures in China for the month of June. The company managed to sell a remarkable 93,680 cars, indicating a gradual dissipation of concerns regarding supply chain disruptions and weak consumer demand for electric cars. It's important to note that Tesla's success is not isolated. While overall car sales to dealers are expected to decline by 5.9% in June compared to the previous year, the China Passenger Car Association predicts a 30% rise in new energy vehicle sales for this year. This surge in sales is not limited to Tesla alone, as its rivals are also gaining momentum in the market. Local competitors of Tesla in China have responded to the EV maker's aggressive price reductions, resulting in positive outcomes after a challenging period leading up to the Shanghai Auto Show in April. Automakers like BYD and LI Auto witnessed a rebound in June deliveries, with some setting new monthly sales records. Edison Yu, an analyst at Deutsche Bank AG, stated in a recent report that China's June EV sales exceeded expectations, indicating a potential normalization in consumer behavior. Yu believes that the surge in demand signals a release of pent-up demand from buyers taking advantage of low prices. The CPCA estimates that shipments of new energy vehicles to dealers in June reached around 740,000 units, surpassing the previous forecast of 670,000 units made just 10 days earlier. This indicates a significant uptick in sales in the Chinese market. To further stimulate sales in China, Tesla has been introducing additional incentives throughout the spring and early summer. In June, the company offered an incentive of $1,100 to selected buyers of inventory Model 3 sedans. Moreover, preferential low interest rates were made available for certain car loans. The pricing of Tesla's vehicles in China also plays a role in their popularity. The base version of the Model 3 is priced at around $32,000, while the Model Y costs $36,440. In comparison, the prices of these models in the United States are $40,240 and $47,740, respectively, before incentives such as the $7,500 federal tax credit. With Tesla's impressive sales figures in China and the overall rise in demand for electric vehicles, it is clear that the EV market is gaining traction. Up next, Toyota's new electric car design takes on Tesla, revolutionizing manufacturing with single-piece castings. Toyota, one of the leading automakers globally, has announced a significant investment of $2.1 billion in a new electric vehicle battery plant in North Carolina. This move is a strategic step taken by Toyota to establish a strong position in the rapidly growing EV market and compete with established players like Tesla, Rivian and Lucid, as well as emerging companies in the EV space. The decision to invest heavily in EV battery production is part of Toyota's comprehensive plan to demonstrate its long-term vision for sustainable mobility. By integrating battery manufacturing into its operations, Toyota aims to have better control over its supply chain ensuring a reliable source of batteries for its future lineup of electric vehicles. Toyota's investment in the battery plant highlights the company's understanding of the pivotal role advanced battery technology plays in the success of electric vehicles. This move showcases Toyota's commitment to stay at the forefront of EV innovation and deliver high-quality, efficient, and sustainable vehicles to its customers. However, Toyota's vision goes beyond just investing in battery production. 
Recent reports have revealed details about Toyota's next-generation BEV architecture, which features single-piece front and rear castings. This groundbreaking approach to vehicle manufacturing aims to reduce the number of parts required from 86 to just one and streamline the manufacturing process from 33 steps to a single operation. Toyota's adoption of Giga casting, a technique that enables large-scale, high-integrity castings, marks a significant shift in the industry. By utilizing single-piece castings, Toyota can achieve greater structural rigidity, reduced weight, and enhanced overall vehicle performance. This cutting-edge manufacturing process exemplifies Toyota's commitment to efficiency, cost reduction, and engineering excellence. With its position as the world's largest automaker, Toyota's strategic investments in EV battery plants and advanced manufacturing techniques underscore its dedication to sustainable mobility. By pursuing an integrated approach to EV and battery manufacturing, Toyota aims to establish itself as a formidable competitor to both established EV manufacturers and emerging startups. As Toyota expands its presence in the EV market, it raises the question of whether Tesla, the current frontrunner in the industry, will respond by adopting a similar single-piece casting approach for its body in white. The competition between these automotive giants will shape the future of electric vehicle manufacturing, and it will be fascinating to observe how each company evolves to meet the demands of this rapidly evolving market. Up next, Tesla Model Y becomes top-selling car in Iceland and Australia. The Tesla Model Y continues to make waves in the global automotive market, becoming a top-selling car in Iceland and Australia. Tesla's aim to make the Model Y the best-selling vehicle worldwide in any category is being realized as the SUV garners immense popularity. In Iceland, Tesla broke a 35-year-old record, with the Model Y claiming the title of the best-selling car in the first half of 2023. This is a significant achievement considering the country's long-standing preference for Toyota vehicles. However, Tesla has managed to disrupt Iceland's car market, winning over locals with the Model Y and the Model 3. First-time electric vehicle buyers are particularly drawn to the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. This trend is not unique to Iceland, but is observed in other countries that are embarking on their electric vehicle journey. Tesla's competitive pricing, efficient charging times, advanced features, and extensive supercharger network contribute to the brand's growing popularity. In Australia, the Tesla Model Y also made a remarkable impact, securing the position of the second best-selling car, surpassing the Ford, during the second quarter of 2023, Tesla sold approximately 5,560 Model Y units, placing it just behind the Toyota Hilux Ute with 6,142 units sales. Australia's Federated Chamber of Automotive Industries reported that battery electric vehicles accounted for 8.8% of June's auto market sales. In total, 11,042 BEVs were sold last month, representing 7.4% of new vehicle sales in the first half of 2023. The Tesla Model Y has not only conquered Iceland and Australia, but has also made a significant impact in the Chinese auto market. In fact, the Model Y surpassed the sales numbers of BYYD's raw new energy vehicles in China, a notable accomplishment considering BYD's formidable presence in the global EV landscape. Tesla has further confirmed the Model Y's success with its status as the best-selling model in various markets worldwide. It has claimed the top spot in Europe, become the best-selling non-pickup model in the United States and achieve the highest monthly sales in the Chinese market. Since its official entry into the Icelandic market in September 2019, Tesla has rapidly gained popularity. As of April 2020, Tesla became the best-selling car brand in Iceland, solidifying its position with the recent success of the Model Y. The Model Y's triumph in Iceland and Australia, along with its impressive performance in other markets, showcases the increasing demand for Tesla's electric vehicles globally. That was all the Tesla and EV news for today. What are your thoughts on Toyota's challenge to Tesla and new Cybertruck updates? Share your views in the comment section below. And if you want to see more interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so you don't miss out on the latest news on Tesla.